Atlas tier. Give me the go! Nice. <laughs> cool. Okay, so we got the whole display. We're gonna, what is it, 20 packs, I think. We're gonna crack this open. I'm gonna get the plastic off and get everything out of the, uh, the boxes, but uh, we'll probably speed that up real quick and yeah, we'll get right into it. Okay, so we got 20 packs here, I think, right? Yeah, 20 packs. So we'll just get the Kraken. That's 40 gold rares. Uh, really want the Imperms. Would like some Nibiru's as well. You know, a lot of stuff. The Alt Art Appalooza. This set's sick. It's basically uh, what, what, what we're getting at here. So we got a B Only One. We got a Nurse Dragon Maid with uh, nothing wrong with it because, I mean, obviously the quality control in the set is something else. A Machine Dupe. And the Fantastical Dragon Phantasme, the sick ass alternate art. Um, it's fine too. Yeah, this one's fine too. It looked like almost like there was no foiling on it, but yeah, it's pretty good. Mage Power for some reason, and uh, Fire <laughs> Brother of the Fire Fist Buffalo. I think United we stands in here too for some reason. Uh, yeah, alternate art's sick, right? So we got a uh, number eighty-seven Mommy of the Night. We got a Night Beam, Condemned Witch, this is sick actually, like this card's like applications are really few and far between, but I think it was only Secret Rare before. The Statue of the Drought, we got the Golden Lord, the Golden Boy, and the other guy is Marshall Metal, Metal Meme Lord. Yeah, this is a really good pull, seeing as how this is one of the major things that uh, people want out of this, that's pretty cool. So we got those as well. Um, I hope it's short printed. I mean, it was supposed to be short printed, I think, was what the speculation was going to be. I've seen people with that card. Maybe I haven't seen the full bullet. I think I saw a job for it once. I haven't watched a ton of pack opening for this either, so I don't actually know how the data is for that. So we got Gear Game next. Wolf Mark. A lot of interesting. It's like almost like legacy reprints, like the Fire Fist stuff, too. But I mean, I guess if they're going to reprint the Fire Fist stuff, then they could put this guy in there as well. Parlor Dragon Maid. Some more mommies. Totally awesome. That's an amazing reprint as well. And the other gold rare is going to be the Stardust Charge Warrior. This really needed this because this only came in gold secret. And oh man, this looks leagues better than that fucking piece of shit. <laughs> you got the Graffa and the tuning as well. Uh, you know, the most of the rare slot stuff in here is pretty sweet too. Um, Toad is, yeah, it's very, very welcome for sure. Um, so we got Statue of the Infernos. Got trade in. Got Alistair in the sick ass alternate art. Got uh, Temple of the Six, Miracle Contact. For some reason, again, another Marcher. And then <sighs> Galaxies and Galaxies, Tachyon Chaos 107, King Ghidorah, fucking. Yeah, I never understood this card because, like, a lot of the Chaos, um, like, Exceed uh, upgrades. I feel like a lot of them retain some sort of semblance of their uh, previous form, but what the fuck happened to this guy? I mean, you know what fucking Tachyon Dragon looks like. Isn't that fucking three heads and fucking 20 foot wings? That's what I'm saying. It's, yeah, it's dumb. Uh, shout out, um, what's that series called? Pathetic Aesthetic. Yeah, shout out those guys. Uh, Lost World, Union Hanger, Silent Angler, Zodiac Dridents. Oh man, look at those fucking giant dragon milkers. <laughs> yeah, she looks amazing in uh, this new gold room. That's sick. We got a Chalk and Nine to follow suit. 
Nibiru the Primal Being. That's very nice. Yeah, I definitely wanted that. I, it's funny enough, I uh, had the original Prismatic Secrets, and then it's like somewhere down the line, my playset got broken up. Uh, so I like I ended up having two, and then I swapped them for Spanish ones. So I have a playset again. Uh, that's pretty cool, and it's also English, so that can also just serve as a translation. So that's nice. Um, let's see what we're working with next here. We got Night Beam. White Prince, there you go, Mike, that's for you. Trickstar Reincarnation, Machine Duplication. Chaos Dragon Levineer also looks amazing in this golden rare. Very nice. <laughs> Appalooza, Boa the Goddess, and the sick ass mommy artwork. Really yeah, like but where's the bear? He's drinking Coca Cola, as the memes would say. It's pretty good. It's pretty sick. Honestly, fuck the bear. Who needs him? This fucking moonlit. Setting it looks nah, so the cool. Bear. The, the, the bear is kind of you know, you're right. The bear is kind of the boy, you're, you're kind of right. Let's get this shit out of here. All right, yeah, a lot of good stuff. I mean, it's like not nothing. I feel like nothing, yeah, the white prince, yeah, not a, yeah, toad's pretty good too, right? Not a lot of um, nothing crazy, I think, but it's just like cool stuff. The regular art, Levianir, that's sick too, very nice. The What's it called? The pet dragon? Yeah, the exceed one. The storm winds? I thought this... See, whenever they said that these were going to be in this, I thought that they meant as gold rares. So I was like, dummy hype, but I guess it's better than a common. Uh, what do we got next? The gold rare for the reinforcement of the army. That's welcome, too. That's pretty sick. Looks better than the old gold rare. I think it was gold four that had the rota. I don't remember. One of them. Maybe it was even premium gold, which is it fucking looks, It looks kind of similar to that horrific. one. Horrific. This, this does look better. The shine looks better. Yeah, it pops. I just hope that there's no issues with, um, like, uh, marked cards with these for, like, actual, like, organized play whenever that is a thing. Extra Foolish, that's a good one. Called by as well. Beatrice, the Lady of the Eternal. Man, this looks infinitely better. Oh, there's the Marshall letter mark, too. Got a little excited for the Beatrice. This looks infinitely better than the Gold Secret as well. Very nice. Man, that's cool. If, I mean, if only if we had, like, the Korean Secret as well. The Chateaus came in here. But where's the Magellan? Ooh, and the Caluga Claw Crow. This is good for Synchrons. Good. And Blackwings, I guess, but just, we're just not going to talk about it. That's already just like a cheese strat to begin with, the uh, Caliga Crow. All right, so moving on to the next guy. Almost done with this first stack here. We got a Dragon's Mirror, a Feather Duster. And that's pretty sweet, too. Yes, sir. A Synchron. It's cool, though, because uh, hopefully this tanks the price of all the other ones. Uh, Synchron Carrier, uh, Fire Formation Goku. I never knew how to say that. And another Nibiru the Primal Being. That's sick. If I could walk away with a playset of golds, I would take that as well. I think a playset of golds, that would That'd be awesome. pretty nice. Yeah, so yeah. Start blinding people. <laughs> they're going to they're gonna really know they summoned five that's times. Really stack your deck. You yeah, know. for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> See, that's the shysty part, though. Drowning is a good reprint. Flame Buffalo, Ghost Dugger, and Snow Rabbit in the alternate art. Looking hella clean. That's nice. And we got Transcode Talker and Rank Up Magic, the seventh one. Uh, <laughs> fuck that. Dark Lord Rebellion and the Hidden Temples of the Necro Valley. Alright, so we'll probably just blow through most of the rares at this point. We've probably seen a lot of them. Alright, so Pelinor, Necro Valley Throne, Phantasmal Dragon, Storm Winds, Rhoda. It's so weird. Super Poly with the fucked up boiling, like the ink's like not all the way on there or something. It's got like this weird, like, sheen to it. It almost looks like, um,. If you spill like oil on like asphalt and then the sun roasts it for a couple hours, it has like that rainbow film to it. It's weird. Um, so yeah, it's weird. I mean, the quality control is just so fucked in the set. They can't even fucking like pack the, the, the gold rares like consistently. It's not like rare, rare gold, rare, rare gold. Like that one was all rares and two golds. The Morning Star, it's a good reprint as well. The Ghost Bell and the Alternate Art. That's pretty sweet. We got the Utopia Beyond. I, it's really funny that like now that Virtual World is doing good, people are realizing that this guy plus um, Charge Warrior just kills people. But like that's just like always been a thing. I remember back in like Cosmo format, you could go like uh, this guy, and then you could and, like in Odd Eyes, you could summon Meteor Burst, and then you can make uh, Charge Warrior or just attack with Odd Eyes Dragon. It does 5K because it puts all their guys at zero, and Odd Eyes does double damage. But yeah, no, Utopia Beyond is a broken card. Infernity Mirage, that was very needed. This card was $30 for no reason. That's sick. And then some more rares, the Dark Barrier Statue and the Mage Power. Uh, we got like eight or seven or eight left. 
Oh, like the fucking giant grinder. Oh, you're taking that. Dristan, get cucked. You got another, uh, what's it called? Feather Duster? Yeah, he has the secret first. He's had the secret first for the longest. Shared Ride, Monarch Syrup, Metal Marcher yet again, Foolish Goods, and Imperial Tombs of the Necro Valley. Imperial Tombs? Oh, okay. That is a good card. Secret is better, of course. Trade in Artifact Lancia. That's pretty sick. That's we definitely one. have the um, the Wind Witch Artifact Dogmatica deck profile that I can definitely flex this bad boy in. Uh, the secret might look better. I don't know. I think this looked kind of insane. I, I mean, the just secret, but the gold that look looks kind of nutty. Uh, we got Master of Blades on the reprint. I'm pretty sure this is the first reprint this card's ever had. Look how sick my boy is. This is literally fucking Aladdin smoking lightning and drinking beer. Um, anyway, Cyber Dragon Core, this is pretty sweet too. The Cyber Dragon Infinity, that's very nice. Um, yeah, I got the Gold Infinity. I remember this is one of the first cards I saw from the Japanese release of this, and I creamed myself. Because the XCs, I think, look the best with this stamped gold rarity. It's pretty nuts. Um, and again, this is also um, going to go in a deck profile we're going to put on the channel. It's not Cyber Dragons. It's actually Metal Foes playing Klee Engine still. I also noticed just now that they have this... Um, extra line of text here because it's usually just uh kazuki takahashi but this is tv tokyo konami i don't know if all Yu Gi Oh cards are going to have that going forward of like licensing has changed or something that's very strange i just noticed that um all right well that's yeah that's weird i'll have to wait i'll have to look at my phantom rage stuff i don't i'm not sure it could just be because this is a special set uh trade in morning star Giant Grinder, Elric the Golden Lord, very nice. Polymerization for all you legacy cucks trying to build your Battle City Joey Wheeler deck. Want to summon your fucking alligator sword dragon? It looks pretty good, though, right? I, I wish they put anime art in here as well. That'd be cool if the anime art one. Anime art as well. I know because it's like there's so much alternate artwork anyway. So, man, that looks insane. What the fuck? I got a golden ticket. <laughs> fucking. Willy Wonka, my dudes. All right, next pack. Let's cracker. Infernos, Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. Foolish Burial, Utopia Beyond, yet again. Yeah, seventh yeah. one, throw it in the trash. Prime Monarch, Ooh. Link Maribo. Good job. Oh, right, <laughs> yeah, seventh one. I'm pretty sure that there's some cheese with this, but it's there like, is. it's also like uh, Yu Gi Oh! Zexo, like anime cheese, and it's also not very good. <laughs> Union Hanger, Infernos, Monster Reborn, looking very insane. Not the Ankh, though, so who gives a shit? Why it's really cool. I know, I know. Because uh, I think if they so if they did Ankh, it would, like, destroy Lost Art. That's the value of the Lost Art. Starlight Junction, that's a good reprint as well. Another Rota, that's pretty sweet. The playset? Uh, no, that's not the playset of Rota. I think I've... Actually, I, mean, actually, I think it is. Yeah, think that is the playset of Rota's. Yes, it is. Good thing it's at one. Uh, okay. It's okay, we got the, we got the 2014 uh, Teller Knight. Don't worry, it's going to be a sold band, Road of the Three. Yes, sir, let's go. I am about that. We're playing Toad Heroes. Queen Mommy, another Lancia. That's pretty good. A sick looking fucking Sky Striker Ace Kagari. I'm sorry, what's Engage at? Oh, oh right, moving on. Torbus from the Forbidden Realms and the Planet Pathfinder if you want to play Mystic Mine, I guess. Uh, Moving on. Or Exodia. I guess you can do with Exodia. We were talking about trying to make Exodia good. I almost, I had Lost Arts in my uh, TC2 player cart for like four or five days. I'm like, man, 80 bucks. Fuck Stone. that. Stone. Speaking of stones, the White Stone Agents. The guy of the Dragon Champion, yet again for you Legacy Cucks, trying to make a Duelist Kingdom Yu Gi Oh decks. The Master of Blades. Uh, Bear's Edge of Store wins, and the Rusty, Rusty Boy. Um, I have an Ultra. I'm never going to summon this card. I actually played it for like a week whenever uh, I bought the Ultra. I was like, man, this is... This sucks. <laughs> it, it was like... Like, it was good, I guess, but um, it was in like Gumblar is old bullshit, so... It was just kind of overkill. Like, the Phantom Engine wasn't that great, I think, because it was super very small, but... Pleiades? Why is this in here? I really don't know why yeah, this is in here. I mean, to be thoughts. fair, Pleiades is a good card, but why? Um, Brothers? Domain of the True Monarchs, and the final gold rare is... Elric the Golden Lord! We got the playset, now I gotta buy all the uh, traps that have been inflated and play uh, Golden Boys. <coughs> so yeah, that's that, that's pretty cool, so... I'll lay all this out, and uh, speed that up as well, and then talk about how we did, and close out the video.
Okay, so this is everything we got. We got the double Nibiru, the triple Golden Lord, a nurse, a parlor, a reborn, double bell, ogre, three rotas because uh, meme, I guess, I don't know. Guy the Dragon Champion, Phantasme, the one alternate art looks very nice to Polly. Inferno Mirage, uh, both arts of Levianir, Charge Word, Double Lancia, Double Seventh One. <laughs> the new Appaloosa looks very nice. The new Kagari, Super Polly, Ardeech, Alistair, Marchers, Beatrice, Pleiades, Dryden, Infinity, and Dusters. So all in all, uh, definitely went neg on the box, but we don't really care about going neg on this channel. We're just out here trying to open packs and make some decent Yu-Gi-Oh content. Uh, all in all, my box came out okay. Nothing really bad on the uh, misprint or quality control side. Uh, some of the cards are already worked out of the package, but looks good. I think that this set's super cool. Uh, is it crazy awesome reprints? Not exactly, but it's definitely, definitely refreshing for a gold series to look this nice. But uh, that's really all I got. I will catch you simps in the next one. Like and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, yeah, let me know what you got out of this gold series. I'll see you next time.